Whatever plays you get in there, do work. Take the ball down, whatever you gotta do. Let's go, come on, let's go. Let's turn up. Turn, turn. Let's go. Ball's falling that most of it. Done it twice already in the game. Hey, it didn't follow it. Huh? It didn't follow, didn't follow it, though, Coach. We ain't really got no chance for the rush. You the three. You the three. You just know. Say they still like the runner, so just be on the Safe, safe. Hey, back up off the ball. Back up off the ball. <laughs> He always get that that'd be the only sex he gets for the season too. Yeah, have, have four to have sex, all of them get sex. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nah, we're gonna be alright. Let them get in the rhythm, let's keep stopping the ass. We'll be alright. Let's go. Hey, we ain't giving them up. We ain't giving up. We ain't giving up, bro. Let's roll. I know I felt you on my hip. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you definitely knocked me down. I'm like, oh, I'm like, where, where that came from? To see more mic'd up with the Seahawks, tune into Seahawks Saturday night every Saturday at 10:30 on Q13 Fox, the exclusive home of your Seattle Seahawks. That's what it was. I told two to go. Yeah. And I was coming around. That's what it was. Nah, he's so far off the ball when it's passed. The he's, right. He's you know, he's like, he's back, back. He's oh, off. I get him off. Yes, sir. First and goal from the four. Gurley gets it. And he gets slammed. He is blasted by Michael Bennett and Tony Mc. Daniel. Well, slowing down Gurley is all about being disciplined, you know, being uh, gap disciplined, uh, playing great team defense. Everybody not trying to do too much. Again, it just boiled down to gap, playing gap defense and making great plays and making tackles, not allowing him to get, you know, any uh, long runs. Uh, I think that was huge for us against him. He can't move like he wants to, though. I can't hey. see. Hey, hey, can y'all take one step forward? Hey, yo. hey. Can you take one step forward? Just one step that way. Right there. <laughs> ah! Right! Come on, man! <laughs> That's fine. You going to on me. What do you want to do? Right! Right! You didn't know. Davon Austin slots on the right side. Seattle with four down line. Keenum under center, play fake, he's going to roll right, stops, looks up, gets hammered, he's dropped, first Abel gets there, Bennett is there to wipe him out. And I kind of read the boot, he came out, I tried to cut off, uh, you know, try to cut him off um, so he couldn't keep running outside of the pocket or whatnot, cut him off and grabbed him, Mike came out and cleaned him up, so uh, it's good teamwork. <laughs> We won't! That's what the, we won't! We can run all that down, so let's just keep playing fast. He looks, he scrambles right, he dumps it off, ball's caught by Christian Mike, tries to slide between two defenders. He gets hit, was he down on the ground? They're gonna say it was a fumble. Knew this was gonna be a tough game down here. Damn, gotta bounce back, that's all we can do. I'm too close of a game, guys. Oh, no reason. It's going to be a busy couple days for Cliff, chasing Blaine Gabbert tomorrow, and then on Monday, it's the third annual dinner to make a difference at Palisade Restaurant in Seattle. The event is sold out, but if you want to donate, log on to CliffAverillFamilyFoundation.org. Yeah, Dave, Cliff is a fan favorite here in the Northwest. What makes him so successful? 
He has such a great repertoire of pass rush moves. You know, he can get the speed rush off the edge, and then what happens is the game goes along. He's able to soften up those offensive tackles, and he can get a 350-pound guy light on his feet and bull rush him. So he's really good at that. I asked him one time about his repertoire. He said, you know, I don't even think about it. I just go out there and let it happen. It's all instinct. So he's also great at just hammering the ball on the backside. He's able to get a lot of strip sacks, and he's just a, a pure instinct guy and just one of the great pass rushers and one of the great free agent signings here by John Schneider. And you know the other thing about him, Aaron? He makes a hell of a car commercial. Does he really? Yeah, he does a really good job. He knows what to do with his hands, which sometimes I don't on this show. <laughs> so, yeah, he does a great job, and he's just a great man. A lot of Seahawks are good in those car commercials. Aside from getting to Blaine Gabbard tomorrow, what's the biggest key to a Seahawks win? Well, I think turnovers, number one. That's something that's really interesting. The, the Seahawks defense has yet to get a turnover, and that will really help. The other thing is special teams can help out this offense a little bit. Of the 22 drives that they've had this year, 20 of them have been on the 25-yard line or inside of the 25-yard line. So they've had the long field. So if uh, defense and special teams can pick up this offense right now, I think that this offense will come around eventually. This is a number four scoring offense from last year. But right now, Aaron, it's got to be the defense and special teams to pick them up a little bit. Average starting field position last week was their own 17-yard line. Hopefully it'll be past their own 25-yard line this week. A reminder, you will see the game all day on Q13 Fox tomorrow, starting with the pregame show at 1230, leading you up to kickoff at 1. And then after the game, we'll have Seahawks game day with reaction from Coach Carroll and the players. It's all right here on your official Seahawks station. For Dave Wyman and Jermaine Curse, I'm Aaron Levine. We'll see you tomorrow from CenturyLink Field.